we keep hearing the news, famous people, they develop prostate cancer. First of all, what is prostate cancer? Prostate cancer is a malignancy of the prostate. Prostate is a gland that is on the base of the blood, which indicates and it gives you mostly a function of sex because it produces the fluid that comes out in the ejaculate. That means when you have sex, the fluid that comes out is 90% coming from the prostate. So how, what would make you suspicious uh, that you thought maybe there was a possibility of prostate? What would some of the things... There are two things that would make you suspicious. One is an elevated PSA. Okay. That doesn't mean you have it, but it means it's, it's, there's some concern. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. The other one is an abnormal feeling prostate. That means what? That means when you do a digital rectal exam, when you examine the prostate with a finger, you feel the prostate is uneven and you feel some hardness or a nodule in one of the lobes of the prostate. Prostate usually start, the cancer starts on the posterior area of the prostate. They'll tell you that a lot of this cancer starts on the anterior. Most of the time the prostate starts on the posterior area, which is the posterior area near the rectum, which makes it more accessible to the finger. So you did a PSA, it was a little bit elevated, you did an exam, you, you found a little bit of hardness, that area you talked about, felt a little nodule or something. What's your next step? Your next step is to make sure that the patient does not have, or the person does not have, an infection in the prostate. If they have an infection in the prostate, you have to treat the infection. You give the prostate a massage through the rectum, and then you check the fluid that comes out to urethra. You check that fluid under the microscope. If you have more than 10 white cells per high power field, that indicates an infection. You treat that person for the infection. After the infection is cleared, you do a PSA. If the PSA is normal, you leave the person alone. If the PSA is over 4, you will do a prostate needle biopsy. However, if you cut down from the threshold of 4 to 2.5, like the group of Catalona, our, our suggestion then you will increase the yielding 30% of finding the cancer of the prostate. So it depends on how old you are. If you're under the age of 50, which is not recommended to do unless you have some type of risk factors, your PSA should be 2.5 or under. And over the age of 50, it should be 3.5 to 4. And if it's anything above 4, you should do a Why is the biopsy. figure higher at a certain age and lower in another? Is there any reason for that? BPH, as you said before, it's more an indicative or benign prostatic hyperplasia, which is the benign growth of the prostate, rather than cancer of the prostate. The more cells that you have in the prostate, the higher the number, because it's like you have more men pushing a piano. The further they're going to push it, and the easier the effort. If you have less men, more the effort you're going to have to do. So the prostate will grow from the age of 25 or 30 until the moment that you die. The larger the prostate we start with, the larger the prostate we're going to end with. The more the time goes on, the PSA will go above, and it will get to the age of 4. So whenever it's higher than the number 4, then it's an indication that you should have a prostate needle biopsy because you suspect a carcinoma.